What is good everybody, today we are taking a look at a brand new WWE Elite 2024 set. And today it is the WWE Elite SummerSlam 2024 Elite John Cone Build-A-Figure Wave. Now a lot of people have been waiting on this wave, first of all because we get our first look at a modern referee figure, something we've been waiting for from Mattel for years and years. I mean Mattel has been making WWE figures for almost 15 years, I mean it's been like what, 13, 14 years now? Never had a modern referee with the striped shirt. You know we've had like our elites with like Shawn Michaels who was kind of a referee right? But I mean, he was Shawn Michaels. You had your Psycho Sid figure. There's been like implements of a referee, but from Mattel and WWE, we've never seen a striped shirt classic referee. So today is a big deal, man. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and buy this set, you can do so on ringside collectibles, wrestlingfigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS. Save yourselves 10%. I'd imagine this wave is going to hit over the summer at some point. It is Summer Slam. So I do believe it's going to be around mid-summer, something like that, that these will hit maybe within, maybe by May or June. Maybe even be after that. It could even be after that, man, but let's run down the wave. First up, we do have a look at Undertaker with his crazy head sculpts. Not the biggest fans of these coming in, but you never know, but I like this packaging. Lots of bright colors. You do have John Cone down here, which is cool. SummerSlam graphic. Very summery, very hot vibes. Like, I feel like I could dive in a pool just looking at these, so that's cool. We do have the Kane figure, which is essentially pretty much an Elite 4 re-release of Kane, or a re-release of the Elite 4 Kane, but it's more accurate to different things, and we'll get into all that, but we do have Kane there, which looks really damn good. He comes with a head sculpt of John Cone, who I did see again of a WrestleMania weekend, and Nicholas, both of them walking around the Superstore, so that was cool to see those guys again. Next up, we do have X-Pac in here, which looks pretty good, even though his face looks like my science teacher from high school, and a combination of Freddie Benson's mom, but he comes with the torso of the referee there, John Cone. I can see a lot of people getting the torso a lot, because they want that striped shirt, you know? I, I feel like the referee was a good pick for a Build-A-Figure, because you could build so many different referees, you could put different head sculpts on there and make, you know, a combination of different referees. I'm definitely going to try my hand at trying to find multiple copies of the John Cone figure. We round up our set with the legendary Lex Luger here looking like damn Major Glory or all kinds of different. Hey, he just looks like a superhero, man. He looks like a beast. So I'm excited for this one as well. But that is our full SummerSlam Elite 2024 set, man. What we're going to do is crack these guys out of the packaging, go through them one by one and all the different stuff. But let's crack all of them out of the packaging, find out what they're about, and then we'll dive into our review. So here's our SummerSlam 2024 wave out of our packaging, man. My first thoughts on this wave, I mean, coming into it, weren't the, it wasn't like the highest, wasn't praising this set the highest. The thing I'm most genuinely excited about is the Build-A-Figure for sure. The John Cone is an amazing figure. Looking forward to that a long time. You know, that's been, that's been on a lot of people's wish list for a decade, man. I'm being serious there. That's crazy. But a lot of lack of accessories here, man. Not a lot of accessories. And we're going to dive into that. And I'd like to know exactly why. I, you know, I'm very intrigued to know why they didn't include that many accessories, but what we're going to do is go through each figure left to right. So we're going to start with Undertaker, go through the accessories, go through the figure. Same with Kane, same with Pac, same with Lex Luger, and then we're going to build our John Cone. And then at the end, we're going to rank this figure from worst to best, in my own personal opinion. So with that being said, man, let's dive into the Undertaker, and then we'll work our way throughout this entire SummerSlam WWE Elite Build-A-Figure John Cone set. So getting into Undertaker's accessories menu, you get two interchangeable head sculpts, you get his hat, of course, and you do get interchangeable hands. And much like, like the Elite 102 Austin Theory, they are a bit goofy, and Mattel's been doing this for probably the last few years now. Been giving us these really over-expressive head sculpts. Kind of goofy, you know, that's just what they've been doing here lately, but you do have this wide-eyed head sculpt, which I don't, I guess, despise. I just don't, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, they look pretty accurate. I mean, the likeness is there, but you have the, you know, the wide-eyed head sculpt, and then you have the screaming wide-eyed head sculpt from what was it? Was it Brock Lesnar? And I mean, it is accurate, you know? I mean, it's definitely accurate. I think it looks like him. It's just, I don't know, they're very goofy. They're certainly goofy, but the sculpts on them are pretty good. Likeness is there. I was never really fond of this version of Undertaker, but yeah, I mean, we have it here. And this this Undertaker figure here kind of serves as a really good base for any other Taker you want to use or do. But I was hoping that when we saw the leaked lineup for this wave, I thought it was going to be a SummerSlam 2004 Undertaker. And unfortunately, that was not the case. Now, we also have his black hat right here, which which does seem to fit the figure pretty good, actually. Like, it does fit snug and everything, which is always a plus. Kind of looks a bit oversized, to be honest with you. And I do believe this is like a repeat mold. This isn't a new cowboy hat. I think this is an old cowboy hat, I'm pretty sure. But at least it does fit the figure well, fits tight and everything like that. And the last but not least, he does have mic holding or weapon wielding Undertaker glove style hands. And then my favorite are the fisted hands of the same glove mold. We waited years for these and we finally got them. And I just love them every time. They never get old. All right, getting into the head sculpt here, you guys can see what I was talking about wide-eyed head sculpt. I'm just not a fan, man, but I really just don't like the torso on these Undertaker figures, especially in the singlet. I just don't think they 
do it justice. You know, it'd be really better if they would take the existing cane or, you know, the torso they used on the Mean Mark Callus. Use that torso and then use like a new sculpt that could go over that torso because I think that really is more broad. Like here's the cane torso, right? Just sculpt over that. You see how like different it is and how much skinnier it is? I don't know. I think that could do wonders. I know that would require a new mold, but I think it'd be worth it because they updated the shoulders and arms and it really makes it look better. I think the next step is getting that bigger torso in there. Still doesn't look bad and what have you, but you do have all the tattoos. I like the new arm mold they give Undertaker with the double jointed, the new shoulders. It makes it look better and stuff like that. You do have the same cry. I mean, they, we've seen this mold a hundred times, man. It's essentially like a new head sculpt. Like, this is the WrestleMania 32 Elite Taker with double jointed arm and different head sculpt. Like, all black pants here, which is a good Taker leg mold and everything. It's just really plain Jane, something we've seen so many times before. So, it's not gonna, you know, just shatter the universe. But for your Undertaker figure comparisons, we have a few different figures here that I wanted to compare. And of course, there's many others that we could do as well. But you do have the SummerSlam Elite in the middle. You have a couple WrestleMania figures over here on his later runs. Then we do have the WrestleMania 32 Elite Undertaker, which again, you guys can see is like the exact same figure. Different head sculpt, double jointed arms, new shoulders, stuff like that over here. But it's pretty much the exact same. Same exact leg mold, same exact torso. Colorations are the same. And then we have that 30th Anniversary Taker over here on the right. But that's pretty much your Undertaker figure comparison. So for Kay's accessories, man, I mean, you <laughs> <laughs> this is it, man. Two pairs of interchangeable hands. And for guys like Kane and such as that, man, I mean, these standard hands, I just don't like because, you know, Kane's hands, I'm sure, are bigger than the standard guy's hands. So I'd like them to implement a bigger man mold. And I wish this glove was sculpted on this hand, but it's painted nicely, I guess. But it does have the white peg in there, which I guess is accurate because it is like a shorter hand glove. But yeah, you get Mike holding hands, and then it's Kane, so you know he's got to choke slam you to hell, so you get the choke slamming hands as well. So getting into the Kane figure, starting off the head sculpt, man, this is a repeat head sculpt that we've seen, and this is essentially the same exact figure we've seen before as well. Now, I think the colors on this figure are a lot better than what we've gotten previously on the Elite Four Kane, which we're going to get into, but this is very close to an Elite Four re-release. But the head sculpt's good. I like the goofy smile. You know, I would have preferred the pissed off one that you're seeing back here on the box, but I still like what we have here in this goofy smile, and we have gotten that pissed off head sculpt a few times that you could probably find it and switch it out for, but I like this torso they use for Kane. I love that they finally have given him bigger biceps and stuff. I think it really adds to the figure and how big Kane was from this time frame, so that is all good here, but going down into the tights that we were talking about, he also does have the black wrist tape and the gloved hand, which look how baby his hands look, man. I just don't like it, but you do have the stitch pattern here, which this is a great base for an 04, 05, 06 is Kane, because he rocked these for years and years man you got that dark black you know the black tights with the red stitches this was his look like when i think of kane from the mid 2000s this is exactly what i think of so you know your matt hardy fuse your gene snitskis all that stuff undertaker return this is right up through there and this looks really good i think they did good it does have pins in the legs and he does have the tall black boots wish they were shiny and i'm pretty sure all this was shiny as well or at least the tights were or maybe it's the stitching i can't remember but this is definitely a solid kane figure it feels good i do believe he's on ball joints like moves around like with the best of them and so is undertaker Taker, so articulation wise, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with this set. But let's get into some cane figure comparisons. So, for your cane figure comparisons, man, you do have the SummerSlam Elite here in the middle, but this is what I was talking about right here with the Elite 4 cane. So, I would say that this one's better and more accurate, I do believe, from memory. Like you see the arms are bigger, bulkier, but he does have the pissed off head sculpt over here, but I think that's a fix-up. I think that originally came on the Elite 10, which is over here, which is very similar, but this is the attire he switched to from this attire. And then you have the Decade of Domination Walmart exclusive cane, and then you do have the most recent Legends cane with a head swap. This is, oh, like, you know, 03, 04, up until, like, 2010, I think, canes. And they all look good, man. I mean, I, I appreciate these a lot. I, I loved cane growing up, but I do want to pop this head off and I do want to put on the Decade of Domination head because I want to see what the pissed off head sculpt looks like on this head, on this uh, figure over here. Probably it looks like it's going to be too tall, man. Actually, actually, that's not half bad right there. Dang, you got a little something special going on there, young man. That ain't bad. So if that's something you'd like to do, there is an option for you. That's not, uh, yeah, man, that's actually, I was afraid he's gonna have a giraffe neck, but hell yeah. And then getting into Xbox accessories, man, again, similar to Kane and Undertaker, you don't get a whole lot. You do get the black shades here, which I do believe are an old edge mold, if I'm not mistaken. And you just slide them on the Freddie Benson head sculpt or the Freddie Benson mom head sculpt. And they fit pretty good, I'd say, these sunglasses, so that's good. Yeah, they, that looks a whole lot better. 
better, man. A lot better likeness like that as well. So that's good. And outside of that, you get mic holding hands. And you get the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard new mold, which is just like slightly shorter than the previous, which is way more accurate. So is it even Ricochet Kawhi Leonard anymore? But these are also the DX Chop It Suck It hands. Next up, man, we do have X-Pac here, which I really am not a big fan of this head sculpt. I think they could do better. And I know a lot of people were bummed out that they didn't include a bandana. I think a red bandana or hell, even a black bandana would have been cool. But it does look like my old science teacher. And it also looks like Freddie Benson's mom from my Carly. That's the vibes that I'm getting here. But we did see this head sculpt on the fan takeover figure, I think it was. Or no, it was the Legends. I'm sorry, it was the Legends figure. But this is an attire that we have seen multiple times. We've seen this in basic form before. Got the X-Pac in silver and the red and black singlet. Not my favorite gear ever, but it's not bad. I am glad to have it in elite form. But black and silver going on here. You have the X's on the side and everything. White wrist tape, black elbow pads. He is on ball joints. He's got the same knee pad mold that they always give X-Pac. He's like the only guy that gets these knee pads too, which is crazy. Like legitimately the only guy. But then we do have the kick pads with the same designs on there. Again, not, a, you know, like uh, just kind of a repaint, which is what a lot of figures in this wave are. But I do want to get into some X-Pac figure comparisons. And for your X-Pac figure comparisons of Sean Waltman, we do have Fan Takeover with the Elite 33 head swap. You have the Elite 33 with the Fan Takeover head swap, the headband. You have the SummerSlam Elite, the Legends without all the clothes and DX gear, and then you have the Legends. And this also has a head swap with this original figure here, which has the same head sculpt as this. I like the tongue out head sculpt with the bandana. I just think it looks the best, to be honest. And then you do have the Legends, like I said, with all the clothes on there. I think this is every Elite X-Pac, if I'm not mistaken. I really, really want this gear, but in green. Or I think it's where the white and black are reversed. Like, I want a white based with green accents DX gear of, of X-Pac. But I like all these figures in their own way, man. I, growing up, I was a massive X-Pac fan, actually. The X-Factor faction, the Uncle Cracker theme that they had, that song and album is one of my favorites of all time, which I know is kind of crazy. But what you looking at by Uncle Cracker is one of my all-time favorite songs. And it was the theme music, or part of the theme music for X Factor. I don't know, man. Super nostalgic, super awesome. Just gives me all the feels. It's legitimately like one of my favorite songs of all time. So that's just, I don't know, it's funny. But let me know if you guys enjoy that song down in the comment section below or you think I'm a moron. But it's cool to have all these Xbox up next to each other, man. We need more of them. Really, I mean, we're kind of, like, we have different versions of X-Pac, but it'd be nice to get more elites of him. Oh, wait, no, I'm missing the, uh, the flashback exclusive. I have it, but it got broken down. That flashback figure somewhere, I just gotta find it. Nonetheless, and I think it's the most accurate to this figure right here, but I digress. And then for Lex Luger's accessories, man, the interchangeable hands is all you get, so very bare-bones accessories across all these different figures, man. It's kind of crazy. Mic holding hands, which are kind of weird. They're kind of like, like he's squeezing the hell out of that microphone. Then you have fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. And that's it. And finishing up the set, man, we do have Lex Luger here, which I think looks pretty good. I like the head sculpt. I like the likeness and everything. I feel like they may have given him a few more, too, too many wrinkles, really, which is kind of a nitpick, and the hair is maybe a little bit less accurate than that, like, iconic look for Luger around this era, but it still looks money, man. I like this a lot. I like the expression and everything. Looks pretty damn good, man, but he's super jacked. He's got the massive torso in here. You have the America bicep bands. You got the lots of cool details here with these decals and the, and the deco work. The gold, blue, red, and white just are so good, man. He even has the massive American flag elbow pad. Got the little loincloth on the front that is a removable piece, or it's not removable, but, you know, it can move around. Like that little pennant there. Just very colorful, man. He even has the stripes underneath right there. Gold and the flag and the stars. Going down, same deal on the knee pads. Just look really good. Damn, dude, the colors are just great on this figure. You have the pennants going around the calves right there. White boots here, which... I always love for him because they're like the ricochet style where they're like the really tall skinny look, which I really appreciate. They don't give it to us a lot. Lex Luger's like the only guy that can really get these boots, which is crazy. They need to implement these more. Nonetheless, I still like just the, the full figure, man. Full figure is pretty damn good. Like here lately, man, we've been getting quite a, I mean, I mean, I say here lately, but I feel like we've been getting quite a bit of Lex Luger figures, man. Now, I've never owned the original of this figure. I think it was the Elite 30 Luger, but at one point I did have the Elite 45 Narcissus Lex Luger, but growing up, I was never really a big Luger fan. So I did sell off that Narcissus Lex Luger a while back, and I did sell the Then Now Forever 3 pack with the Sting and the Macho. So I would have more to compare here, but we do have the recent Monday Night Wars Build-A-Figure Lex 
And then you have the two Legends figures. You have the regular and the Chase. Can't remember. I, I want to say the black was the Chase. But I'm sure we're going to continue to get Lex Luger figures. There's plenty of looks they can make. I'd even like to see some of those older ones re-released, to be honest with you. Can't believe we haven't seen that. But this might be my favorite Lex Luger they've ever done, now that I'm looking at it. So that's cool. But you could also, like, pop these head sculpts on and off. You could easily interchange any four of these. So that's cool. But I think the likeness on these most two recent Lex Lugers are absolute money. You know what? We'll head swap it just, as, just for gishes and shigs. Let's just see if we can uh, switch these around if you guys want to put like the mullet head sculpt on here for whatever reason. Look at that. You could do that. That actually looks pretty money. May not be accurate, but hell yeah. All right, man, so with that being said, let's go ahead and build our John Cone figure. We'll look at the figure, and then we're going to rank this set from worst to best, in my own personal opinion, out of all five figures. But if you guys are wondering, Undertaker comes with the arms, Kane comes with the head sculpt, x pot comes with the torso, and Lex Luger comes with the legs. So what we're going to do is take our legs here, or our Lex. See that? The legs come with Lex. Pop it into the torso, just like that. God, that's clean and nice. Nice tight waist. You love to see it. Take our arms and plug these in. I don't know how much experimenting they did with these arms and like these new build a figure sets, man, but they are very nice. Like, God, it is just a pleasant experience every time I build these new build a figures from Mattel. Like, they're tight, but they don't feel like they're going to snap in half. They're very buttery smooth. Then we got the John Cone head sculpt. Pop that on there, and look at that right there, man. Now I have a referee. For the head sculpt, man, I think it does look like John Cone, especially from this time frame. You know, he's not a referee anymore. He took more of a backstage role or more of a behind-the-scenes role, but it still looks really good. I like the hair sculpt and everything. You got the collared shirt torso on there, WWE logo. You got the stripes. Very clean deco on there as well. It's not, you know, splotchy or anything. WWE logo on the sleeve. Great sculpt work here on the arms. They're just insane, man. This is a very high quality figure. And then we do have this new crotch piece and leg, which are pinless. And these are nice, man. These are not like typical pinless legs that we've seen from Mattel. I mean, right now, this referee figure is trying to compete for one of the top elite figures of the year. I mean, this is crazy. Can you even compare a bit? I feel like you can because it's the same size as these. It's not like Marvel Legends or something where the figure is way bigger. Quality seems to be better. But maybe it is. I don't know. But you have these new legs here. The only real pants mode we're missing is like that 90s skinny jean or tight fitted jeans look that I was talking about with the Monday Night Wars Austin figure. If you guys missed that wave, definitely go check out that review, but this is a very high quality figure, man, but let's compare him, John Cone, his Build-A-Figure, to his son's Build-A-Figure. Now, Nicholas is a lot taller than this now. I'm pretty sure he's taller than his father. But that was seven years ago or something like that now, which makes me vomit. Maybe it was six years ago, but this is crazy, man. This has to be so surreal. If I had a official MDT figure with my son as another Build-A-Figure, that would be crazy. I'm going to speak it into existence. That's going to happen one day. I'm going to have my own official figure. That's the dream. My own MDT action figure. That's articulated and stuff. But this is cool, man. But father and son featured in the review. Craziness. But let's uh, let's take all these figures off screen and let's rank these figures from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Now let's run down the criteria for ranking figures before we get into the ranking itself. First of all, just because a figure comes in at the bottom doesn't mean that it's not any good whatsoever. It doesn't have any redeeming qualities. And just because a figure is number one doesn't mean that I like every single detail of the figure. And then also, different Different criteria has to be excitement level for the figure, likeness to the character on my television, execution of details and attention to detail, feel in hand, articulation, sometimes accessories can play a part. Lots of different criteria, but those are the main points that I like to hit. But let's start things off, man, with the bottom of the ranking. And for me, the bottom is going to be the Undertaker figure. Just didn't really care for this era of Undertaker, and it's not much different than the head sculpts, and I really don't care for the head sculpts that much. So, all that being said, I just am not the biggest fan of the Undertaker figure, man, at the end of the day. I'd much rather have every other figure in this set. Coming in at the number four spot, I'm going with the X-Pac figure. Repeat of the Legends head sculpt which wasn't that great this isn't my favorite gear or moment in time of x-pop i really don't have like a huge sentimental value to me and I, I prefer the legends figure i think the legends figure was better and i don't know it's just not not that great i don't like the head sculpt no bandana just doesn't move the needle very much for me next up we do have the lex luger figure really like this figure was never a huge lex fan but i love the colors like the head sculpt like the gear a lot just personally wasn't a huge fan of luger so it's not you know one of those that hits me really hard but i do like some of the details here Love the colorations. Really cool figure. I like the Lex Luger a lot. But then coming down to two and one, we do have Kane and the John Cone. And for me, I have Kane and number two. And I have the John Cone referee figure 
at the number one spot. John Cone figure's damn good, man. One of my favorite figures that we have reviewed in hand this year. The Kane figure is beautiful. It's a ruthless aggression Kane. Great execution of details. Love the newer arm mold. Don't like the baby hands, but I would rather have the Kane and John Cone over the rest. And then if I had to pick one, since we already have the Elite Four and some other versions of this Kane, pretty much. The referee figure is a long time coming, something we've wanted for a decade, so pretty easy to pick the John Cone. I mean, such a great figure, great head sculpt, all those different things, man. So with that being said, I have the John Cone as the best figure in the set. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is also Undertaker does come with all the John Cone interchangeable hands. And he comes with one count hands or pointing hands. He comes with two hands to count to two. He's got the, like, you know, the, the mat slam hands here. He comes with three count hands. So that's cool. He comes with a slew of hands that we saw with the Muhammad Ali Ultimate Edition. So that's pretty cool there, man. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this review of the WWE Elite SummerSlam 2024 Wave John Cone Build-A-Figure. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. Appreciate all you fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for all of your continued support, man. I appreciate all of you. Thank you guys so very much. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later. <laughs>